By now, most of you know that February home sales were pretty dismal. It was a rough month. However, March rose quickly with month-to-month -month gains in sales of 37.4% for Sacramento County, 57.2% in El Dorado County, and 45.2% in Placer. Regardless of how low February was, that's a very healthy jump in March. So, the spring home buying season is definitely off to a great start. As the sunshine comes out, I think it's gonna get pretty exciting. Now let's take a look at the inventory levels. While the new statewide active listings continue to decline, falling 12% from a year ago, the unsold inventory index fell to the third lowest level in more than three years. Statewide inventory is at a three month and days on the market fell from 33.5 days in February to 26.7 days in March. Locally, Sacramento County reports 2.1 months of inventory and an average of 25 days on the market. That is fast. Placer County is a little better off with 2.6 months and 27 days on the market. But hey, if you're in this market, six months is a valid market and that is fast. El Dorado County, as usual, has a much healthier level of inventory at 3.7 months of unsold inventory in 52 days on the market. That's a lot of stats, but it's important to keep an eye on the market to have a perspective on our own world and our own businesses. When talking to agents about how they're marketing their listings in this area, most of them say that open houses are bringing buyers in with more success than before, you used to only do it to show off to your sellers, but now we're actually seeing people pick up buyers. When there are more buyers than sellers, the buyers get out to the open houses and get offers in fast. They can't afford to ride the fence for long when homes sell at lightning speed and they're gone. On the downside, the main reason deals fall apart in this environment is that buyers are motivated to move faster than they otherwise would, and they don't have their loan pre-approval prior to actually going out shopping, making offers, and guess what? They blow up because they're not approved. So this is gonna be a fast market and a super hot one. I think it's gonna be a phenomenal 2017 and most people are agreeing with me. So what's important? Have a tight strategy, whether you're working with buyers or sellers, it's really super important. And now for minding your own business. Recently, BuzzSumo published their review of over 800 million Facebook posts during 2016. That's almost a billion. The big question is what is the best strategy on Facebook for success? The reality is that there is really no definitive answer. Different strategies work for different types of businesses, although this review did come up with four tips that are really pretty universal for all businesses. Number one, be brief. Posts containing less than 50 characters were found to be the most engaging. Number two, post off-peak hours. Posts shared when the news feed is less busy obviously receive more engagement on average because they get seen. Number three, use video. Video posts, live or recorded, receive many more shares than any other types of posts. Number four, ask questions. Questions get more likes than all the other post types because it's something they can pass on. These tips should help you increase activity on your posts with more likes and shares. And may the Facebook force be with you. That's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.